Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. One woman facing several charges after a grand jury returned a 30 count indictment in connection to an alleged Ponzi scheme based in Stockton. She allegedly defrauded investors and used their money on personal expenses. She faces up to 20 years in prison. Detectives say Kevin Salazar confessed to killing Los Angeles County Sheriff's Deputy Ryan Klinkenbrumer. Investigators looking into whether Salazar has any record of mental health issues and whether that should have raised red flags before he purchased the gun used in the shooting. The El Dorado County Board of Supervisors rescinded a controversial vote that would have made July American Christian Heritage Month. It comes after they were met with pushback from the community, saying the measure is a violation of the separation of church and state. A kilogram of fentanyl was stored on top of children's playmats used for napping at the New York City daycare where a one-year-old boy died from exposure to the drug, according to a new federal criminal complaint. Three other children were hospitalized and treated with Narcan. Five Americans held prisoner in Iran are now back on U.S. soil. In exchange for their freedom, the U.S. granted clemency to five Iranians convicted or charged with nonviolent offenses. The U.S. is also unfreezing $6 billion in Iranian oil revenue tied up by U.S. sanctions. President Biden urged world leaders at the 78th session of the United Nations General Assembly to continue supporting Ukraine. He also addressed issues surrounding China, the Iran prisoner swap, and climate change. A Delta flight managed to land safely after it was likely struck by lightning mid-flight. It was inspected by crews on arrival and taken out of service for further evaluation. Consumer Reports conducted crash tests to help determine its top-rated picks for car seat safety. The top infant car seat is the Kleck Ling for $460. Testers liked it for its crash protection and ease of use. American Idol host Ryan Seacrest launched the newest Seacrest studio at Cohen Children's Hospital. This is the 13th location designed to provide children with an escape from the challenges they face every day. Large pieces of recycled glass are in the medians on Interstate 5 in Sacramento. It's part of the Clean California initiative to beautify the gateway into the downtown core of the city. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.